Hello everyone, Nottis Fan here. We are jumping into MLB 11's franchise mode, and I'm going to start up a franchise. I've had a lot of uh, requests for this, and, and uh, frankly wanted to get to this myself. I'm going to take my hometown twins here and uh, guide them through the season. And uh, these videos, hopefully, will uh, take the form of a series-by-series -series, uh, video. So. What I mean is I'll take one series in the season, uh, the first being at Toronto here, and I'll make that one video. And then uh, for, from then on, each series hopefully will be uh, a video as we go on. So we're going to start the season uh, just as it is in real life here, or was in real life, uh, with the Twins opening up in Toronto, north of the border. Uh, they pitch Pavano in Game 1. I'm going to pitch Liriano in Game 1. My lineup here... Um, after looking at it, should have moved it around a little bit. I would have liked uh, Nishioka in the uh, second spot there, but uh, we'll go with what it is for uh, the opener here. So as you see, uh, the this, this show is great. Uh, where it excels is these little bits of pieces here that make you feel like you're at an actual game. All the uh, the intros to the games, uh, making it feel kind of broadcast feel. Now, just a few things, a few notes. Um, I use when I play, I like to use real-time presentation with replays. So if you're wondering what, uh, what presentation elements I'm using, uh, that is what it is. Real-time presentation with replays. I think that's a pretty good balance. Um, and so anyway, we're going to go up against Ricky Romero, uh, a very good left-hander to start the season. So uh, our left-handed bats will have their work cut out for them. As you see, Denard Span ready to kick this season and this franchise off for us right here. So first at bat of the year, and he promptly popped foul on the first pitch where the catcher has a play on it and makes it. So one pitch, one out in the Twins uh, season here. So Maurer's first uh, attempt his first uh, plate attempt here for the season as he gets ready to face Romero as well. And as a 1-1 count here, he will uh, promptly ground out to the second baseman. So uh, they go down quick in the first. And uh, you'll see uh, my starter for the day is Liriano. Now, what I'll probably do the first time around the rotation is uh, just uh, give you a chance to check out what my starters are, um, what they have for pitches here. So he's got the four. Uh, he's he's got the four seam fastball here uh, as his first and uh, best pitch. He's got a slider, which you'll see here. And uh, this is nice here that they actually have the warm up uh, tosses here at your disposal to get used to your pitches, the break and everything on them. He's got a changeup, which is coming here, I believe. And you'll see the new pitch meter as well. Uh, we're, we're, we're going analog on this. I'm not going to go buttons. I'm doing analog uh, pitching, fielding, and hitting in this here. And uh, here you'll see his uh, two-seam fastball. So there's his four pitches. Here is my defense on opening day. Delman Young, Span, and uh, okay. And in the infield we got Valencia, Casilla, Nishioka, and Morno. And you got Liriano and Maurer behind the dish here. So that's my opening day defense. And uh, right off the bat, Liriano running into some trouble. So Liriano's got some first inning issues to work out of here. He's got a 3-2 count here and uh, does get a strikeout here his first of the season right there. So uh, able to come back and, despite a full count, get a good pitch for a strikeout here. So still in the first, two runners on, and this is trouble here. we got a base hit, and we're going to have a chance for a play at the plate, but the throw is not in time, and the Blue Jays strike first early. Uh, one nothing lead here on the base hit. And uh, Liriano has got to settle himself down here. So with one out, uh, collects himself and is able to get yet another strikeout. So two strikeouts despite the, uh, the run home here. And now if he can just bear down and get out of the inning and avoid a big one, uh, that would be good for the Twins as he does as the ground out to Morno ends the first with only one run in. But the uh, Twins find themselves in the hole right off the bat. So speaking of Morno, uh, coming back from the concussion here and his very first uh, at bat since missing half the season uh, last year with that concussion. And he will ground out uh, to the other first baseman here. So um, nothing on the board for the Twins as of yet. We're in the third now with Kubel at the plate. And you see a nice... Uh, nice curveball that he goes down looking at here. 
So the Twins bats uh, not able to collect a hit yet. Here's a play that's got a chance, but a nice play up the middle. That's a great play by the shortstop, robbing a hit attempt here. So the Blue Jays cr cruising along 2 nothing at this point. In the fourth, Maurer not able to hold up. That's a strikeout. Romero is dealing, and he has not given up a hit yet, as you see right here. So into the fourth now uh, with Liriano, and he gives up a big fly here. Chasing it down is Delman Young, but he's going to run out of real estate. That's into the bullpen, and the lead is now 3-0 for Toronto, as you see another replay here of, uh, I believe this is Hill, taking Liriano deep right there into the Toronto bullpen, extending their lead to 3 nothing. So the Twins uh, in a big hole now here, kind of like in real life, although Pavano gave up uh, more like 8 or 9 that day. Uh, kind of playing this out the same way. Here you see uh, another great play this time by the second baseman, uh, Robin Morneau of an infield single, uh, but not to be, so they still have not gotten on the board in the sixth inning with a hit. So Delman, or I'm sorry, uh, Valencia trying to change that. That one does just fall in. I believe they credit a hit there, and Valencia's got the very first one on the day in the sixth inning here, so Romero... Uh, having a great outing here, but does give up a hit here in the seventh. Delman Young will get another hit, this one, uh, to the gap, and they finally will have somebody at second base here in this game with a chance to uh, get on the board. So Delman in at second, and the Twins now may be in business for the first time today. Morneau, this time will not be denied. That's a single and an RBI. And the Twins are finally on the board, but still trailing 3-1 uh, to one at this point here on opening day. But uh, it's got to feel good for Morneau to collect that first hit uh, of his uh, season after struggling so uh, hard to get back into the lineup with his uh, concussion and all of the uh, effects thereafter. So uh, here's a pitch. Uh, oh, boy. Kadire just absolutely robbed here. Uh, instead of a hit, he ends up uh, getting uh, the victim of a double play there. So getting into the late innings, we're going to pull Jim Tomey off the bench to pinch hit here for Casilla, I believe, and uh, hoping to get a spark, maybe a long ball here. Jimmy's always good for that. So down 3-1, nobody out in the ninth, and oh, he's ripping for it, but that's a strikeout. Romero still in there going there for the complete game. He's able to come up with a pitch to retire Tomey, the pinch hitter. So Delman uh, Young, the last hope here, and he does give it a ride, but this ball is caught in fair territory in front of the wall, and that's a complete game win on opening day for Ricky Romero. A great performance there by the Blue Jays left-hander, and he puts down the Twins uh, on opening day here. So uh, he, of course, is the player of the game here, and well-deserved as he really uh, stayed on top of this Twins lineup all day long. So going into game two of the series, you're going to see Pavano and Brandon Morrow uh, take it to the mound here as you see Delman uh, sporting the new uh, Twins road alternates there, kind of like those. And I like the fact that you can choose your alternate, your uh, jersey sets, not just jerseys, but uh, you can mix and match the caps and, um, and the pants and all that good stuff. So Pavano on the mound. Uh, his pitches are four-seam four fastball. You've got a changeup coming here. Uh, what else does Pavano throw? He throws slider, and he's also got a two-seam fastball that you'll see as his, uh, as his fourth pitch here. Uh, Pavano really had a solid season for the Twins. Um, you know, if, if there was a number one last year in the rotation, uh, he was it. So I've got him going on the second day of the year here, however. And he gets a ground ball, but uh, already in the first inning, a throwing error by Casilla allows the runner to get to first, which is uh, not a good thing because here comes a gapper, and the uh, Blue Jays once again are going to take a first inning lead, uh, this time against Pavano. Uh, so the error is costly by Casilla, and Pavano uh, pays the price here. So uh, down one nothing in the third when Kubel gets this one just inside the chalk here. And despite some hesitation and some problems with me learning the uh, base running controls, he's able to get into second here. 
uh, looked a little uh, a little iffy, but uh, this swing was definitely not. And this ball, as I said, just inside the chalk, getting Kubel a double. So uh, with Span at the plate here now, and Kubel now at third, that single is going to get Kubel home and tie the ball game. So as Kubel crosses the plate, we've got a 1-1 ball game. Span uh, pleased with himself with for the hit. And uh, now the Japanese import, Nishioka, to the plate. He hits a little chopper that the uh, uh, pitcher is a little late uh, getting to first base, and he's able to beat it out. Maurer at the plate next, a little inside-out swing, and gets this up the middle. They're going to have a chance to score a run here. Big throw by Davis, but uh, that's uh, well up towards the mound, and Span scores. So a 2-1 lead now uh, for the Twins, and finally a little bit of offense. So Morneau to the plate here. And uh, first pitch he sees, he likes, he drills. This one is deep to center field, and it is out of here. Morneau's first homer, the Twins' first homer in the year, uh, opens up this lead to 5-1, to one, as you'll see some replays here. Morneau's nice uh, cut here, taking this deep, and Gardenhier very much pleased about that one, opening up some breathing room here for the Twins early on and uh, makes this a 5-1 ball game as you see one final replay here at the end of the inning. Uh, that is uh, the end of the third at least for the Twins uh, with the sticks and they've got a 5-1 lead at this point. So Pavano's got something to work with. He'll go out to, uh, in the third inning and try to make quick work of this Toronto lineup which uh, is easier said than done but he's going to give it a shot here. So Kubel at the plate now in the fourth and uh, does he have a shot at an infield hit? Nope, that's a nice play by the shortstop, showing some range. So 5-3 at this point now, and we're into the eighth. And Pavano gets a ground ball to Valencia for and out here. So things are looking good, but he's got to get past Bautista. And, uh, well, he's not able to get past Bautista at this at bat. Uh, going deep, as he did so many times last year. Uh, but he takes this one out to uh, right center field for a home run and cuts that deficit to 5-4 here in the eighth inning as you see another shot of that majestic blast by Bautista and he's admiring it for sure as that one uh, reaches the seats so 5-4 and they come on out to talk to Pavano as a matter of fact they're gonna go uh, early here asking for five outs but they're gonna come to yet another player who missed all of last season Joe Nathan uh, he's got a lot of questions to answer here. Can he uh, come back to form after mi after Tommy John surgery? Well, he gets the, the job done in the eighth inning. But going on to the ninth, got two outs and a runner on. And uh, we've got a bit of user error here. I completely botched this ball in right field, and I'm not doing uh, Joe Nathan any, any justice here. He probably should have had this save. That's a user error by me and allowing a Toronto to tie the game. So that'll happen from time to time. But uh, coming on into the 10th here, and uh, oh my goodness, there's a web gem. Uh, right off the, uh, the bat to start this year is Snyder. Makes a great diving catch. You'll see it again here. Robbing uh, the Twins of a hit for sure here. So on to the bottom of the 10th, and Matt Caps in now. Uh, lucky for me, I basically have two closers on the roster, Nathan and Caps. And after uh, kind of hosing Nathan here, do get Caps into the game and he settles things down. So uh, the top of the 11th, and you've got Maurer swinging away. And again, um, issues at the uh, on the base pass. I should have been at second there. Uh, learning the controls with the analogs here. Uh, getting used to it again. Playing two baseball games, that'll happen again. Hesitation coming around uh, third base here, but the run will score. So we do get that run back. I feel a little bit better. Uh, hosed Pavano in this game and uh, hosed uh, Nathan as well. But Tommy comes through with a hit. Caps puts the lid on this thing. Actually gets himself a victory here. And the Twins uh, even their record at 1-1 one and one on the year, taking the second game against Toronto. As uh, always nice to get on the board with a win. The smiles are big. And the player of the game, of course, is Justin Morneau with the three-run bomb. That uh, was not the game-winning hit, but uh, definitely put some distance uh, where they, they could uh, navigate a win on this day here. So Morneau, the... Uh, player of the game and we're looking at Baker versus Kyle, young Kyle Drayback here for the rubber match so as the final game of the series approaches uh, the managers bringing the lineup cards out and getting ready for this one so first inning Nishioka at the plate 
He's going to get himself a single here to left field, taking it the other way. Uh, that's what he is as a contact hitter here. He's hitting a little better, I think, in this game than he started out in real life before he actually uh, got hurt turning that double play. But anyway, uh, Maurer then grounds himself into a tough double play. So uh, no offense in the first here. You got Scott Baker going. I'm going to cut down uh, his warm-up a little bit here for sake of time, but he's got a four uh, seam. He's got a slider. He's got... Uh, uh, Slurve, I believe, there, and uh, I think a two-seam. So, anyway, Baker uh, will be on the mound today for the Twins. Trying to get it done here, get a series win, getting a strikeout there. Uh, speaking of strikeouts, Tommy's bat, uh, he's a little bit hit or miss here to start the season. I guess he's that way uh, in general, but uh, strikeout there. So, Delman Young at the plate once again here, and oh boy, another great play in the field. We've seen a few of them here in this series from the Blue Jays and uh, just laying out to make a great play right there. So Baker back to the mound in the bottom of the second uh, going against Lind there I believe and uh, that slow roller uh, is charged and fielded by Nishioka for the out. So two outs now in the second and another strikeout for Baker so he's looking strong early and um, third inning now with two men on but he's able to get a strikeout looking here by Roger Davis. So uh, looking pretty good on behalf of Baker at the moment. So still a scoreless game in the fourth. Uh, this ball is going to, oh, it's going to find its way past the right fielder. And uh, that's going to be a double starting off uh, what hopefully is a rally here. As you see Maurer's sweet, sweet swing here in the, in the show motion. Uh, camera here. Oh, no one's got a swing like that in the majors, I tell you. Beautiful. So, uh, just wish that he wasn't on the DL right now in real life. Anyway, uh, Tommy once again put down on strikes swinging. So, unfortunately, no rally there despite Maurer's double. So, but Baker still uh, finding some way to get strikeouts here in this game. Uh, but not here in the sixth as this ball's hitting the gap. You got Span chasing it down, but uh, that's not going to stop the runner from coming all the way around and scoring here to get the Blue Jays on the board. And uh, Baker loses control a little bit. Next batter hits Bautista right in the back. Uh, definitely not on purpose, but uh, Rick Anderson will come out to try to calm him down a bit and uh, see if that'll help him with still no outs, and he is able to collect himself and at least get a double play here. Uh, but already down one nothing right here this isn't going to help anything uh, ball pulled down the left field line that'll uh, double the lead here now two nothing now though a nice throw in will get uh, the runner trying to stretch it to a double so two nothing now in the seventh uh, Hughes in trying to hold the fourth down getting himself a strikeout and uh, so now we've got a uh, pinch hit appearance by Kadire got to 0-2, tried a little drag bunt, didn't get on, but at least moves the runner over, and Nishioka able to come up with another single here and play to run. So they do cut it in half, it's 2-1, to one, and the, uh, the rally is on. So they go to the bullpen, the Jays do, they bring in Octavio, Octavio Dotel to go after Maurer, so with two outs in the eighth, Maurer uh, hits a fairly lazy fly to center, and Davis puts this away in center, so the rally in the eighth is uh, over, although Morneau starts off the ninth, ripping this in the gap, and he's going to be standing on second when all is said and done. There you go. So um, we got yet another chance here in the ninth to get back at this game. One out now, and Delman Young is going to fly deep to center, and uh, probably foolishly here, but trying to make something happen, making Davis throw this ball, and the game ends with Morno trying to stretch it to third base. Um, not a good decision in hindsight, but trying to make something happen. So uh, we've dropped the series to the Jays uh, two games to one, but uh, had good action all around. Your player of the game is Kyle Drabeck for his good start. So come on back next time as the Twins move on into the Bronx and their nemesis, the Yankees. Uh, hopefully they can pick up a victory. But uh, do come back to see uh, what happens.